fart in the shower. Be that, that little percentage of you that think you can really sing now. Uh, 11 minutes after the hour, y'all. Listen, man, do y'all remember uh, reading the Dr. Seuss books uh, when we were kids, right? Uh, the Dr. Seuss books. Well, today is Dr. Seuss' birthday, and it's also National Read Across America Day. Um, so our producer, Kim, who also wrote a children's book, came up with something fun for us to do today. Uh, Kim, real quick, now, I know... My girl, Comedian Monique, did a video uh, on your book. What is it all about? Yes, it's called... Speaking uh, the mic. I'm here, I'm here. There you go. So it's called uh, You Can Be Anything. And basically, it's about a little girl bumblebee named Bobby who just really ain't having it when people are trying to tell her what she can and cannot do or what she can and cannot be when she grows up. Right. So basically, you know, getting our kids ready to deal with the haters that they're going to face in life. Right. <laughs> right. right. And that's, right. that's, that's nice. the kind of book they need but <laughs> because book... Uh, Kids need, you know, to build their steam. Yeah, no, because it, it especially just our, our black and brown uh, little girls or whatever, you know, they, they like like the uh, Supreme Court Justice nom- uh, nominee was told to aim low and not high. Mm, but no, this teaches them to aim high, use their imagination, and dream big. And before we go, just got to make sure to tell everybody to go to youcanbeanything.com. We got a special code. Guess what the code is, Ricky? What? Ricky. Oh, Ricky. <laughs> That's the code. Ricky. <laughs> the code is Ricky. Go to youbeanything.com. You can be anything.com. And uh, you can get a special discount. And that's B with two E's because she's a bumblebee. So right. you can be Man, B-E-E anything. It is so awesome just to have, you know, children's books. I love or it. whatever, you know, because literacy is something, you know what I'm saying, is is serious. Uh that's why Reading it was good that we had uh what's his name on yesterday? Yes. Yeah. Um talking about Mr. Charles Five Haley. Rings. Huh? Mr. Five Rings. Charles Haley, yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And in honor of National Read Across America Day, uh, Kim asked everybody on the show, which, what was your favorite book growing up? Uh, Rock T, you said one of your favorite books was by Dr. Seuss. Which one? Oh, The Places You'll Go. <laughs> Listen, I still read this book to the day. Like, this is one of the greatest books of all time. And if I could just share a couple of excerpts from the book on why I love Please. it. Yeah. I tell people all the time, you need to think like a child, man, that big, huge imagination. You have brains in your head. You have feet on your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Yeah. The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll You'll go. go. All right, then. And Dr. Seuss's favorite quote, Today you are you. This is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. you. Come on. Oh, man. Come on, y'all. Let's get a (laughs) break. Dr. Seuss, all the places you'll go. Yeah, that's a shout in that thing Come now. Come on, dog. Yeah. Yes, sir. I would love it. Now, you know somebody going to preach that. My, my pastor, Pastor Brian, probably going to preach that Sunday because <laughs> yeah. he listens to the morning show. All right, uh, Eva, your book was uh, Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. Yes. Yes. I love Charlotte's Web growing up. It was one of those books that, I, I mean, I loved literacy. I loved reading. I had to read encyclopedias as a kid. So Charlotte's Web had pictures, but it also allowed me to imagine. Right. There is an excerpt that I would like to read from it. It says, a spider's web is stronger than it looks. Now, although it's made of thin, delicate strands, a web is not easily broken. And I think that is very true to who we are as black people. We might not look like what you think we should look like, but we way stronger than you could imagine. So I always love that book. I read it to my kids all the time. And special case, uh, yours was The Mouse and the Motorcycle. Yeah, Ralph the Motorcycle Mouse. He was a he was a little mouse that had a toy motorcycle that he rode all around and had all kind of adventures with his little mouse friends. Right, and he was, it was he rode a red little motorcycle, and that was like my favorite book when I was about seven or eight. I don't know, but yeah. yeah. Now I remember like the first book when you first learned how to read, uh, "Fun with Dick and Jane," uh, "Dick and Jane" by uh, Williams Williams S. Great. Uh, you remember that, Gary? Yeah, Ricky, I remember. I remember going to read, and you, remember, you know, we used to have a, a, a time out in class. We have a reading section. And I never forget when I was in Miss Walters. What reading group you was in? I was in a um, regular reading group with Miss Walters. You know, and we used to read the book Fun with Dick and Jane. And you know, I, I, I used to. I mean, I loved that book. And you know, Ricky. 
Uh, I mean, so it, it, it helped mold my life. That book shaped my life. Right. It, what, it, it was part of, of my favorite, life. Favorite pages. Uh, well, let me tell you, like some of the excerpt from the book. Come, Dick. Come and see. Come and see Spot. Dick loves Spot, and Spot loves Dick. Dick is Spot's best friend. Dick sees Jane. Jane wants to come. She wants to come with Dick. Jane wants to come see Dick. Y'all listen to the damn story, hell. This is the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. My kindergarten days, honey, and it, it molds me to the person that I am today. Right. Yes. Uh, run, Dick, run. Yes. <laughs> All right, y'all, 25, 25 minutes after the hour. Y'all got your front page right here. Eva, good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday. I'm your girl, Eva Marcel, here with a quick look at your front page news. President Biden spent a good portion of his State of the Union address last night strongly condemning Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Biden used the rest of his speech to promote his domestic agenda. He said he plans to address inflation by having more manufacturing done in America and speeding up supply chains. He also talked about lowering prescription drug costs, subsidizing clean energy and raising corporate taxes. Biden also took a firm stance on recent calls to defund police, saying the answer is not defund the police. It's to fund the police. Meanwhile, fighting and bombing continue in Ukraine. Biden said he would close off the American airspace to all Russian flights. At least 136 civilians and about 2,000 Russian soldiers have died. Oil prices have skyrocketed, leading two dozen countries to tap into their emergency reserves. Energy companies, including BP, Shell, and now ExxonMobil, have announced that they will be leaving Russia over its invasion of Ukraine. And Apple has suspended sales of all of its products in Russia. Last but certainly not least, Texas held the nation's first primary yesterday. Beto O'Rourke easily won the Democratic nomination and will go up against Republican Governor Greg Abbott this November. All right, that's what's happening in news. For more, log on to the RickySmileyMorningShow.com. Rock T, what's going on in sports? Well, let's continue the situation with Ukraine. Adidas suspends uniform sponsorship deal with the Russian national soccer team due to the war in Ukraine. Man, expect a lot of these sponsors to to withdraw anything that's associated with Russia right about now in their national teams. Quarterback Aaron Rodgers, Green Bay Packer wide receiver Devontae Adams were not on the Green Bay Packers promo video promoting their game in London next season. Will they both return as a package with the Green Bay Packers next year, or will they both go to another team? Now, we keep talking about will Aaron Rodgers return as a Packer, but Aaron may say, listen, uh, Adams, we come together, so where I go, you may have to come with me. So it would be dope if a team can actually afford both of them. Because whoever gets both of them, you may want to automatically put them in the Super Bowl for next year, depending on what team they go to if they don't stay with Green Bay. 
Let's talk about LeBron James, man. He says he'll never give up on the season. The Lakers lost 10 of their last 13 games. Man. His quote last night after getting beat by the Dallas Mavericks, until you stomp me out, cut my head off, and bury me 12 feet underground, then I got a chance. Right. And Start yeah, digging. <laughs> Say what day? Start digging. <laughs> you say, you're saying it's over for the Lakers, It's Dave? over. It's been <laughs> over. They currently they currently in ninth place right now. Since they changed the rules with the playoffs, you can the top uh, nine, ten, and eleven can play in. A, it's called a play in. You can still play into the playoffs. So what would you think about that, Dave? They can play in all they want. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> They're not going to the playoffs. <laughs> so they even, even it's, they, it's all, I'm not putting them in the playoffs. They're exactly who they say they are. The record. What's the record? And they way below 500. They're way below 500. But here, here's the deal. Of course, Anthony Davis is hurt. He's been hurt most of the season. You know, Russell Westbrook, he ain't been himself. He's mentally going What's through going whatever on? he's going what through right now. What do you think going on with Russell Westbrook, Day? You look at him, he can put up numbers when there's no pressure on him. When he was in Oklahoma, when he was in Oklahoma City. Yeah. Also when he's in Washington. Now the pressure's on him and with the Lakers, with LeBron James. He has to put up the numbers, and he can't do it right now. He's in his own head, bro. He's in his own That's head. That's all it is. He's in his own head. Yeah. He got to snap out of it. Yeah. So yeah. They're just a bad uh, – they're a bad basketball team. Hey, don't forget, Carmelo Carm- Anthony's on that team, too. They're a bad basketball team. <laughs> they're an old basketball team. No matter who on that day. <laughs> they suck. <laughs> there you go. All right, well. Brad. 